Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 198 of Terraria 1.3. So last episode, we dealt with the solar pillar, we dealt with the stardust pillar, we worked on the the little arena, if we're even going to call it that at this point. It's, it, it's, it's, it's really not much. I mean, it's just kind of there. But probably not going to use it this time around. I think I'm going to maybe run to like the side and shoot the moon lord a good bit and then teleport back heal up rinse and repeat i mean there's multiple ways to do it so i, I i'll try that see, see how it goes if, you know, if it works it works i got uh, my potions at the end of the last episode to make sure we had them for this one i've got all of my buffs here at the ready i would say plenty and plenty of glorified bullets could always use more but we should be good all we have to do is deal with the nebula pillar and we ought to be golden Terraria's getting framey, because Terraria's weird. I don't know, that was really weird. Never seen it get framey coming home like that. But I'll grab another stack of bullets, because... Why the heck not? <laughs> I'd rather have more than not enough when it comes, to, it comes to this boss. So, let me also pick up some buffs. I would like to avoid pressing B over here at the nebula, uh, nebula pillar again. Just to save this potions. Whenever Moon Lord uh, activates, I think I'll just teleport back. We'll wait it out, and we'll, we'll see how we, we handle it this time around. I think we can do it. Just gotta be careful. I mean, that could be done. <laughs> I expect to die again just because. Why the hell not? I'm not even worried about it. I would like to kill him. But once we get the Vortex armor, that armor is going to help us out so very much. Of course, something else we can also do is we could change up our build. We could just, like, full-on face tank it as a melee character. I mean, if, of course, I, I wanted to. But I think with Vortex armor, that extra defense, that extra damage, I think we'll be okay. I mean, we could do it with armor, but <laughs> a little extra defense and never hurt nobody. I forgot we have this all super flat and whatnot. I could, uh, I could just teleport it here. That too. God, I hate these stupid freaking not not the brain suckers, not the evolution beasts, the uh, nebula floaters. Damage they do. And I just like pop up next to you, pew pew. Oh wow, this is on the edge, is it? Oh yes, this is. So let me see if I can squeeze that banner down really quick. Just to speed up the kills a touch. Oh god. Does not let me put that banner down. And I'll just put a bunch of banners in there for this event if we can get some. Looks like we're closing in on the uh, Nebula floater banner. We have 37 kills, so that's quite nice. Uh, if I could break this out and save some ammunition, I'd like to do that. So let's try that a little bit just to see how it works. Gotta pay attention to make sure we don't stay here all day. No, get off my head. They'll stay here all day. We want to get to the actual pillar when the shields are down, but it's kind of hard to see things. Everything's trying to kill me. It's pretty, pretty, pretty annoying. I, I wonder, how well does this work? Can you shoot through walls? The only thing that can come through the wall is the evolution beast, I think. No. Okay, yeah, it's a dumb idea. This will end, this will end in death. <laughs> this will end in death. I wanted to try something. So, yeah, that didn't work. Hey, look, to be fair. <laughs> the evolution beast is what killed us. I'm just going to teleport straight back to that thing. So this is one of the many reasons why I don't bother buffing. You know, it's kind of kind of bullshit. Like, why die and lose all your buffs? Screw that shit. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's just resummon this dude, go pick our buffs up again, and we'll run through. I will, however, use a pumpkin pie, because it's, like, free. <laughs> Pumpkins are still everywhere. Everywhere. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. I didn't think the hiding in there would go as badly as it did, because I thought we would be doing enough damage, but dear god, no, they just kind of walk right in. That's kind of dumb. That's just your launcher's been letting me down lately. Can't wait till we can replace it. Just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's doing as much damage as it could be. I don't want to use the Vortex Beater as much as I, as I am. I'm killing the ammo for it. I'm killing the ammo for it. It makes me sad. It makes me pretty sad inside. But, let's go back. Oh, that was the wrong, wrong teleporter. Let's go back, get to work here. I guess we'll Vortex Beater it up, because the Vortex Beater is what works. It's just, it costs so dang much in the way of ammunition. And if we were to use, like, crystal bullets, it would be super inaccurate, because, again, this thing's kind of, like, chain gun. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's as bad as a chain gun by no means, but, yeah, it's it's pretty chain gun-esque. Very inaccurate. There's another Brain Suckler banner. No point in putting two down right here. That would just absolutely do nothing. That's, like, all I'm getting to spawn is Brain Sucklers. Stop shooting your... God damn overpowered super small projectile laser at me it's so so hard to see the actual attack that's what makes it annoying because i can't see it to dodge the damn thing why oh, i hate those nebula thingies predictor we have 29 closing in on a banner kind of you guys gonna start spawning uh, i would love to go get those hearts down there but 
You're guarding them pretty well. You are guarding, you are guarding them pretty well. Hey, an Evolution Beast banner, that would be pretty nice. You know, they really don't do that much damage to me because usually we are flying. <laughs> See, it's the fucking floaty, no, Nebula floaters, which we're one kill away from banner though. So I can't complain too much. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. Damn it, game. Damn it, Nebula floaters. All right, let's just take a step back because we don't have to go in balls deep. No point. Let's back off a little itty bit. Pop uh, the shiny stone, and there it is. There's the Brain Cycler banner, and the Evolution Beast banner, and the Nebula Floaty banner. Now, not gonna worry about the Brain Cycler one. No point. Let's just heal up, and then we'll jump back in. Uh, I'll save my my health potion. Obviously, I don't want to waste the buff. Or I don't, don't want to get the potion sickness thingy. No point. No point. Let's head back in. Swap. And then accessories. And uh, this will be fun. Trying to get a banner down. It's always a pain in the ass. Because the, the rate at which they spawn. Get a banner down. Oh, okay. So we, we take half damage from the nebula dudes now. And we do double. Excellent. And that will help out a lot. The predictors I can't wait to get a banner for too. Because they do this little weird artillery attack. On the ground. And it shoots like a three prong rocket launcher. Kind of thing up at me. And it does quite a bit if it lands. Okay, are we done with the shields yet? Looks like we may be done with the shields. Hold on. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, we'd be done with the shields. Excellent. And, of course, this will be Moon Lord. So, I'll just, just remember that. We do want to get our our fragments before we leave. So, you have to be quick about this. Really? I thought this would do more. I guess it didn't. There. I want, like, multiple of those rockets all up in on this pillar. Multiple rockets just sitting there doing that AoE. Once I teleport, we will heal. If I can hold off on wasting a health potion, that would be ideal. Come on. We can probably get one hit at our HP level. And that pillar is almost dead, so we might... Nope! We're gonna heal. Nope, because fucking floater thingies. Too shrunk. Floater thingies too shrunk. Okay, that is a moon loud. You die. Let's go. Oh, nope, that's not... <laughs> the, uh, the cell phone is in, like, a different spot. Nurse! Get your fucking ass over here. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it, Catherine? You're, you're gonna do this to me, aren't you? She's gonna dick around, and she's gonna, like, not be where we need her to be when we teleport back, and we're gonna scream, Oh, God, no! And that's the end of it. So I just need to remember, all I have to do is scroll up instead of going to my inventory to use the, <laughs> the, the cell phone. Nurse, yes, get in here. Stay, nurse. Stay. It's like kind of talking to a dog. like, bad dog. Stay. You stay in that house. So, we'll see how this goes. Quick stack what little cash I actually have on me. Not worried about that at all. More worried about actually killing Moon Lord. Moon Lord! Let's go! And I don't remember how many thingies we get, and I wasn't keeping track of them before I pressed B. Alright, well, we can do it now. So, let's see. Can I shoot through here? Nah, it's not really working. So what I'll probably do is because I know this works and I've done it before, is just kind of fly like this. As long as you can dodge most of those projectiles, it'll do pretty good. That's what gets you right there, his laser. And then, no, I'm doing it again. Got to remember to use the cell phone, talk to the nurse. If we could find the nurse, that'd be awesome. Where is she? Okay, there she is. She keeps moving. Catherine, stay in one spot. You stay in that house. Bad, Catherine. That's going to hurt. That's gonna hurt. So, this isn't working as well as I intended, and I'm gonna mostly blame Catherine for not standing still. But we should be fine so far. Not really taking much damage. I'm trying to fall super fast to avoid his laser. Now, let's get up top so we can avoid his face laser. We do have one of those Eye of Cthulhu thingies. Oh, I thought you could avoid that. No! Would you fucking teleport? Would you fucking te Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so done. So done. So done with Terraria right now. Holy fuck. I'm like, zero. Zero. And it fucking didn't scroll. Well, I'll scroll wheel it, but it didn't scroll wheel. Holy shit, that's all you had to do, game. Uh, well then, you know what we'll do? Is we're going to say fuck all because that was some uh, bullshit. We're just going to go home. We're going to make the damn thing and we're going to summon it because I ain't putting up with two defeats like that. That was nonsense and it was working out perfect. But no matter what I did, it was just like... Bug net! Bug net! You want to use the bug net, right? I'm like, no. All I have to do is press 1 and scroll up. That's all I ever do. It just did not work.
fuck that game. Oh, fuck that. Let's just take these back out. Make that. We'll use all of our buffs again. And if this doesn't work, well, then I quit Terraria. <laughs> we should be fine as long as we can fucking teleport. And you know what I'm going to do to fix it? I think I'm going to move Catherine. I'm going to put her in the, the house. And I'm going to break the blocks around it. That way she can't teleport. Or, not teleport. That way she can't walk around. So, Catherine, get in your goddamn house. Come on. Might be better to, like, do it and then move. I think they'll go home at night. That might be better. They might just stay in that house at night. No, Catherine, fuck off. I don't want to let you fall because then you'll just be a douche. <laughs> you'll be a douche nozzle and you'll never be in there. So I'm going to wait till it's night. Let's go home and then just make the actual summoning item because I, I didn't bring it here. God, that, God, what, what a dumb way to go. What a dumb... Scroll wheel up. Literally the easiest thing ever. One. One zero. One scroll. One scroll. That's all I had to do. All I had to do. All I had to do. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and when you're in like a, a situation like that, time just like straight up slows down. I'm like, I know I'm pressing this. I know I'm doing this. Stupid game. I've, I've scroll wheeled up a thousand times. I think I can scroll wheel to area. Fuck you, Catherine. You stay in this area. You stop walking around. This is not what I hired you for. All right. We'll just summon him. <laughs> we still have some items this, uh, or potions to buff up, buff up with. Let's give that another go. Yeah, this arena is not going to work. Not at all. Fuck that. The, the only reason it worked when I originally played was because I had Drizzle playing with me and he was sitting there tanking a lot of it. And I, I was using... I wasn't using... I think I might have been using Magic Armor the first time and it wasn't healing. So that made it even worse. But I think he was just face rolling it somehow. Moon Lord, like, wasn't hitting us. <laughs> but I, I know when I had to solo it because he died and I just kept running away and it worked. I think we'll just do that. Scroll wheel up, game. Okay? Scroll wheel up. That's all it is. One, uh, one, uh. I got this. <laughs> like I said, if this doesn't go our way, I wanna, I'm going to be pretty butthurt. I'll be pretty salty. I think what I should try to do is face tank as much damage as I can without her dying. Maybe. Or better yet, just get up in the air and fly. Like, stay up in the air. Don't go down low. Because he can laser me pretty easily. Pretty easily. Then again, he can laser me pretty easily both ways. I could just teleport. I could just teleport when he lasers. It's not a bad strat. So let's just move. Pop them buffs. And then I'll fall because you go quicker, generally. Generally. And I want to avoid healing where possible. So I have a health potion banged. And we can just teleport. Catherine. Okay. That laser did absolutely nothing. Thank you. Keep falling. And you get the point. Go up at a diagonal because that's how you go quicker. And I can't really prioritize the other parts of his other hand because clarify bullets be, you know, prioritizing the closest thing. Teleport! Ha <laughs> ha! You see what I'm doing there. You see what I'm doing there. So let's just keep moving. I no reason again, I'm sure you know I'm not going to the right. We're not sacrificing Walter to the, to the shenanigans. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, the laser missed. But then again, I think that was the Eye of Cthulhu. That one hit me. And when I say Eye of Cthulhu, I mean that, that little thingy he summons whenever you kill his hand. There's little eyeballs. Not like the actual Eye of Cthulhu. But I think most of you get that. <laughs> Let's see. His hand has got to be pretty close. Uh, I thought he was lasering. Oh, nope, now he's lasering. No, get off the stupid mount thingy. I don't need that. Can't fit through there. I didn't put tall doors yet. How close is that hand? I can't see it. 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 Catherine, please. Catherine, get off the mount, damn it. All right, it's just his head. That's going to hurt. I didn't teleport in time for that one. Catherine, thank you. Oh, the laser still hit me. Shenanigans. Moon Lord, I need to see your face. I need to shoot you in the eyeball. Let's go. Show me that eyeball. Show me that delicious eyeball. Ooh, that eyeball, though. No, you can't hit me. I'm going to juke your laser like a boss. Like a boss. I think that's like the only way you can do it is when you make his laser turn like that. Yeah, you really have to cheese it. Can I not fall faster than these things? Here's I can. Let's teleport. Speak to Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Shoot that eyeball where possible. I said shoot that eyeball. I wonder if you could outrun him with a unicorn. Isn't the unicorn the fastest to land mount? I think it is. Show me them eyes. I think the unicorn's the fastest land mount. I bet you can get away with that. Just heal up. 
no point in not staying at max HP. The problem that keeps happening there is I'm on my mount, and I'm not getting off of it, so I get stuck in the door. Show me that eyeball so I can shoot it, bruh! I'm refraining from using a health potion so I can save it for an emergency. Go, go, go! That's kind of an emergency. I think this is also justified. Show me that eyeball, bro. Nope, don't you reach with me. Don't you reach with me with a weird tentacle thing. This is weird, man. Keep that to yourself. No bad touch. Just not show his eye enough. Alright, now we shoot him in the heart because we're dicks. Now we shoot him in the heart. Right in the heart. Nope. Laser. Laser, please. Uh, and it's got like 80,000? 75,000. Quite a bit of HP. Let's miss those lasers. Say hello to Catherine. And rinse and repeat. Shoot dead heart. So, I think moving is the best strat. The only reason why staying still worked that one time is because I had somebody playing as a melee character. It makes perfect sense, but... Yep. Hindsight's 2020, right? <laughs> it's, it's sad that we're, gonna, we're only going to kill him maybe on our third attempt. Oh, uh, that, that second attempt, I don't even count it. That didn't happen. That didn't happen, right? That was some shenanigans, and we know it. <laughs> I totally don't count it. He's dead. He's only got 3k. I'm just going to stand still. <laughs> That's all it is. It's really not bad. But I did dumb. I did dumb by, uh, by staying there. Now he explodes. Blah. Oh, look at that skull. It's so big. Giggity. Is it still here? Damn. Alright, so the Moon Lord's been defeated. That is all we needed to do. So... Here's the important bit. When we open that treasure bag, we get a couple fancy accessories, or we can get a couple fancy accessories, but we're guaranteed Illuminite bars. Now, I do not believe that you were guaranteed enough to make a set right away. I do not believe that. I think when you destroy a pillar, you're guaranteed enough fragments to make the weapon, but you're not guaranteed enough bars to make the armor, which obviously promotes more Moon Lord kills, and we, we need to do that. We will do that. Just something to, to note. So let's just get rid of like that, and I know I've got shiver thorn seeds over here somewhere. And hell, antlion mandibles. You know what? I'm gonna keep those. Those are worth it. Sack those. All right, let's open it. Ooh, crystal staff. Okay, so not the one I wanted. Gravity globe. No, that's his expert mode accessory. I don't really like that one. So you get the portal gun. That's that's pretty funny. Get some luminite. Hey, we got Senex's gear. So this is a dev set, and then we got the suspicious looking tentacle, which, sadly, I'm pretty sure. Yes, replaces the wisp in a bottle. Now this thing is... I don't know if it's quicker, but it stays on you. Like, it stays right next to your character. So, yeah, I guess it is kind of an upgrade, but let's smelt down our Illuminite. Illuminite bricks. No, we're not doing Illuminite bricks. You know how sad that would be if I made a bunch of Illuminite bricks? What am I missing? Do I need to be here to do the Illuminite bars? Yeah, I need to be here. So it's 4 to 1, and look, you get 27. So we'll be able to see some of the armor, but we're not going to be able to make it all. And here's what I can't wait to do, is get these wings. Hell yeah! Vortex armor, 8, 16, so we're at 24, and yep, already. <laughs> can't make it, so we can do another kill and get it. Let's, I forget what this one does. Summons a radiant crystal that banishes your enemies. Oh, is this the one that's kind of like... This might be the one that's kind of like the Frost Hydra staff. I think. If I'm not mistaken. We'll give it a go. Uh, Senex's gear, uh, I don't, I think the wings might be, maybe are better. Alright, let, let's, let's check, so, we'll check the surface here. Oh, well, you know what we have to do is not hit the skybox, so let's fly. Let's just see what the highest point is we get to in space. Like 96, I think, there? So, let's try that again with these. Uh, yeah, they're 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 slightly, slightly, slightly worse. There's like, the, 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 you only want to use them aesthetically, like put them in an accessory slot. So Senex is stuff, it, it's a grill stuff. So I mean, it doesn't really fit me too well. So I will, I will put it away. Uh, no, no room in here. I think we're gonna have to start making room, peoples. Got dies and stuff, but for now, let me just move that gear here. Now, summons a radiant crystal that banishes your enemies. The, du the colors, Duke, the colors. I'll just place it down and mess with it. Uh, the portal gun. So, clearly, I think we all know what a portal gun does. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> we all know what a portal gun does. So there's the portal gun. Pretty fun. We'll mess around with that a little bit later. 
sadly, it's kind of awkward to say this, but it's time to retire this thing. It's just, just, it's weird. To retire, to retire the Wisp in a Bottle. To me, that's really weird. So we could immediately summon another Moon Lord, or we could do the Pillars again, which we're going to do the Pillars because we want the Fragments. So let's just go kill the Lunatic Cultist, and we'll start, we'll start working our way up with the Luminite. And, or is it Lumite? It's a Luminite, yes, that's what I thought. The Gravity Globe, it, I think it's basically just a Grav Potion. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I think you can control it less frequently, or I'm not, I'm not pressing the button. Yeah, oh, you gotta press up? Oh, is it until you hit the ground? I don't know. It's not an accessory that I value, really. It's not one of the better expert mode accessories, in, in, in my opinion. I mean, it's hard to compete with a worm scarf. Let's be honest. <laughs> so I'm not going to use it. I'm actually just going to put it in here because I don't have any space for the moment. Let's put the fragments back where they belong. Also, I think the... I think this finds loot for me. So let me actually cancel the buff. See how my chests are glowing? Yes. So the suspicious looking tentacle is also... Unless I'm mistaken. Stuff should start glowing. Right? Maybe I'm wrong. Did not use... Oh, didn't use it. Okay, I gotta do this. Okay. Now things are going. So, it's like one of those mining lantern things. Or, how is it the mining lantern? Uh, it's, it's it's the treasure lantern. Whatever it's called that you can get from the skeleton merchant. It does the same effect. So, it's, it's pretty cool, but not really necessary. Let's just store our fragments, and we'll give this thing a go. I think we'll move the Nimbus Rod out, if this is going to do what I think it does. Let's just thank you... And I don't know why I keep getting Shiverthorn seeds, I guess because we were killing stuff in that area. But let's go kill the Lunatic Cultist really fast. You, st you store them seeds? Oh, there we go. Quick stack worked. Oh, I really should be getting a fishing quest, but I want to go do this. <laughs> I really want to go do this. So let's just go to Nya, and let's just place this down. Oh god, he's like already about to attack it. Okay, I'm just testing to see if it attack things. Is it going to start attacking him? I have no idea what this thing does. I'm, I'm testing it. Maybe it doesn't work on those dudes? I don't know. That would seem silly. It's going to work on him. It's doing absolutely nothing. Oh, there, nope, there it goes. It's making pretty colors. It's making very pretty colors. Look at that thing go. Let's get up top. It's making pretty colors, guys. It's cool by, it's cool by me. It makes pretty colors. You get your ass up top. Get, get flying. Let's go. I want to see them pretty colors in action. Hey, I see you. Ooh, get wrecked. All right, pretty colors. Come on. Wonder how long that thing stays. I want to see how much damage it does. One fifty-two crit. It, oh my god! I'm just gonna like let let this thing kill the cultist. <laughs> it does quite a bit of damage, actually. That's cool. I like that. Okay, kill this dude. Oh yeah, it definitely does. This is a nice compliment. Not gonna help me obviously with a Moon Lord fight, but during a pillar, absolutely. It's going for a slime. Rep, rep, rip slime. Wrecked. Wrecked. Yeah, it definitely sped up my kill. I like that. That's cool. That is quite neat. So there we go, more pillars. Let's see, where are they? Vortex one is, ooh, close to home. I bet any money, this thing would work really well. <laughs> really well against star cells. That rhymes. Let's go test it. So they don't have that much HP to begin with. And when they segment, they should be pretty low on health. I think they split their health. Let's just, like, plop you right here and then float around. Oh my god, against a segmented enemy? Yeah, that's gonna do work. We will need to do a chlorophyte run because of all the moon lord kills and such we're doing. abso freaking lootly. This is something on my to-do list. Oh my god, look at a kill like everything. Because it hits multiple enemies. Oh, it's, it's actually pretty beastly. I found a decent weapon. So the, the, the was it, last prism? I think it's pretty funny. There's some crazy potential with that. Oh, oh there's Meow Mare. Uh, Mere, obviously, that, there's that. There's, what else? There's something I'm missing or I'm forgetting. There's a couple things I'm forgetting. He has a couple different drop uh, things on his drop table, obviously. But guys, it is going to end up being time to wrap the episode up. I just wanted to get a Moon Lord kill in this episode. I was tired of having those shitty, shitty situations. Well, to be fair, there was only one shitty situation until the start of this episode when shenanigans happened. 
I'm still calling shenanigans. I mean, like, for, for, I swear to God, I'm like, to I, I'd have to go look over it again. I'm like toggling between, like, these two or something. I'm like, would you just go to zero? Ah, whatever. Not gonna worry about it. Kill these dudes. That weakens that pillar just a little bit more, so whenever we go back to it, it should be easier. I obviously have to deal with these guys. These, these more, these more, whatever this thing's called, the crystal staff. These more crystal staff. <laughs> crystal staff is so cool. So pretty. Hey. You die. You die. Milky Way Weaver Banner. Yay! I got the Weaver Banner. Awesome. So, guys, driving up here, episode 198. Killed Moon Lord. Already working on some more pillars. We'll be well on our way to a second Moon Lord kill after this one. Same old strats. This works excellently. Just flying around, zipping around, killing them. We'll do that again. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.